Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my 10 least favorite Dollar Tree makeup products. I kind of went through makeup that I had and things that I could remember not liking and tried to come up with 10 products that I don't really recommend and give you the reasons why. Of course, you know, sometimes what works for me might not work for you and vice versa. So if you're a returning Dollar Diva, thank you so much for coming on back as always. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I love to do a lot of dollar store and dollar tree oriented makeup and shopping content. So if that is your thing, you're definitely in the right place. I do hope you'll become a Dollar Diva and join our little family here on YouTube. And this makeup look here, I will have the link down below. It's testing out a few new makeup items from the Dollar Tree from the LA Colors Vibing Collection. So definitely check that out if you're interested in seeing that. Okay, so without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So some of these products I have and then some of them I don't, and I will try to put up a picture if I can find one, but if not, I will just talk about them. I did declutter my makeup like a year and a half ago and got rid of some stuff, so I don't always have things that I don't like or care for. And these are in no particular order. I did not rank these at all because I dislike these things kind of for different reasons and to different intensities. But I can start with my least favorite product on this list and I don't have one anymore because I have thrown away two of the ones that I bought. And I'm gonna mess up this name, I always do. I've seen other people on YouTube also have no idea how to spell it. It's the La Mercerie brand mascara. Comes in a black tube, like I said, if I can throw up a picture here, I will. I've got other products by them, like for instance, this. I've got their setting spray, which seems to be really, really, really nice. And I've got like a liquid eyeliner that seems to be really nice. They do have some nice products. The mascara is not it. So I, long story short, I had done, I had come back to YouTube after a break and I had, a, I had a, one of those tubes of mascara and I went to use it in my, like one of my first videos back and I was just like, oh, this is probably just dried out. I've had it probably several months now. So I bought a new one and tested it out in a video and because I couldn't remember what my result was in the a video last year. And it was the same exact thing. So whether you buy it new, you didn't get a faulty one, yours isn't old, um, it comes that way. It's just very dried out. And it's a shame because really the brush is really nice. It's in a nice sleek package. I wanted it to be good so bad, but it is just not. So if you have that brand of mascara and it's dried out, it's not you. <laughs> and yeah, so that is like, I would say my least recommended. Definitely go with like an LA Colors or the Be Pure. The LA Colors isn't my personal favorite because my eyelashes are sad, but it's it's much better, It's but it's gonna be much better than the La Mercerie. Also, they have a Wet n Wild one that I see sometimes too. So yeah, I would definitely stay away from that brand of mascara from the Dollar Tree. So there's another product that I've been wanting to like retest on my channel, but I can't find it in any shade other than black. And I'm pretty sure I can get a picture off the website here for you. It's, you've seen it a lot. It's a double, it's LA Colors and it's a double pencil. And I think it comes with a sharpener and it's a, it's an eyeliner and a brow pencil. And I bought it at some point last year, the year before. And of course it's black, so I can't really use it for my eyebrows. And I remember the pencil being horrible, just horrible. Um, if I could find it in brown, I would love to retest it as an eyebrow pencil because I do love LA Colors eyebrow pencils, but I can never, ever, ever, the website I think has it in black and brown. I can never find it in brown in the store. So the color just doesn't work for me for it to be a dual product. But the one thing I could use it for was an eyeliner. And like I said, it was just not good. You're better off with the LA Colors retractable liner. Not the best, but better than that in my experience. But of course, if you can find the Ioni black pencil liner, I, I kid you not, I have the Urban Decay 24 seven glide on liner and my Ioni is every bit as good, if not better. I actually reach for it more. Like I just, I don't know, for whatever reason, I just, I seem, I think I like it better. I really do. So yeah, don't waste your dollar twenty-five on that especially as an eyeliner. Like I said, the jury's still out on a brow pencil. But I will buy it if I see it in brown just to like retest it in a different color. Um, let me know if you've actually seen that in brown because I've never, I've never seen it in brown. And then this is something that I purchased and used and I don't have it anymore, is the Ioni Glitter Eyeliner. Years ago, I fell in love. I haven't used glitter eyeliner in a long time. I did find some at Dollar Tree that were by NYX. But my favorite one, I don't even know if they still make it, Hard Candy at Walmart used to sell a Hard Candy one called the Walk the Line. 
um, glitter eyeliner, and I used to buy silver, and it was amazing, amazing. And then um, I've used Urban Decay, which those are really nice too. The Ioni one was disappointing. I think I bought silver or gold, and then I've seen they have like pink and green, and I so bad want to try it again, but it's just, in my experience, it's just not good. They have, um, and I think I still have one of these to this day, like one that they call a glitter liner, but it's more of like a shimmer, like a gold shimmer. That I remember not being bad, but yeah, I would say splurge on something like that if you want a glitter liner splurge and buy something if hard candy still makes one and makes theirs buy theirs i that was always my favorite you know and much cheaper of course than the urban decay and ioni makes so many great products so this one was a little bit disappointing but yeah the ioni glitter eyeliner was disappointing to me another ioni product and i actually have this still i used it recently it's the fat chubby stick the lumos they call it lumos highlight and it's just this like big chunky pencil so there it is and it just it just doesn't really do anything. I mean, it's like I kind of was able to get pay off on my hand. It's not creamy. Um, it just doesn't do a lot like for what I would want it to do. And that's like and that's like under my eyebrows. Now, where it may work good is like in your bottom waterline, but I just don't do that a lot. Um, so for what I purchased it for, it doesn't really seem to want to. It just doesn't do what I really want it to do. I have one from Wet n Wild. It's like a matte pencil. And it's really great for under the eyebrow. Um, and that's not a step that everybody does. But I don't know. I was just hoping this would be a little bit more of like a lighten up product. Something I could use in my inner corner. That kind of thing. Now, I do love their lip pencil sticks. Especially plum if you've been with me. But yeah, for me, this was kind of a fail. I'm going to hang on to it because I am going to work with it a little bit more. But this is kind of a newer fail for me. And then another product that I actually still have. Ioni makes great lashes and LA Colors makes great eyelashes. And then there's a couple like random brands. Like I'm wearing La Flair right now and I don't always see them at the Dollar Tree. But they're really nice too. They're very comparable to an Ardell. This is very comparable to like an Ardell Wispy. But there's a couple brands that I don't like. I remember when Wet n Wild used to make lashes and sell them at the Dollar Tree. Those weren't good. Um, Sassy Chic I think used to have some. Those weren't good. They were just not good in the sense that they just... I never really even... They just... They looked uh, weak. They kind of just looked too dainty for my taste. But the lashes I would stay away from, for me personally, they do make more dramatic styles, but they're just very cheap and not good. That is Color Mates. Like these are super cute, but they're just not good. And I have worn these and I've done these in videos too. They're just very plasticky looking and I've just never quite been, they, the band is really thick. They just look very plasticky and there are better options at the Dollar Tree. I, it may be tempting, especially if you love a dramatic lash, stay away from Color Mates lashes. So a couple years ago, I tried a brand that was at Dollar Tree, and I still see some of their products from time to time called, I think, Bee Beauty, I think is the name. And they had some great eyeshadows. They had some, um, like, eyeliner. I can't, they have had a mascara, I believe. And they were good, like, the, especially the eyeshadows. I still have the eyeshadow singles. They were, like, shimmers, and they were really, really beautiful. Very good quality. And I don't have this product anymore because I got rid of it because it was so terrible. I will actually have this video linked down below for you all where I tested Be Beauty makeup. The lipstick, I think I bought two shades of the lipstick. I can't really remember. I may have only bought one, but anyway, it was like a liquid lipstick. It was the worst I've ever used. When you put your lips together and took them apart, I remember it like actually coming off. Like it was not cute. So I, I think I still see their lipstick from time to time. Um, Ioni makes a good liquid lipstick. LA Colors makes a good lips, liquid lipstick. Um, but yeah, the Bee Beauty, Bee Beauty Essentials, or whatever it's called, it, it, it's a specific brand. You'll know what I'm, I'll have it up on the screen. But yeah, it was, it just, just not, just not a good liquid lipstick. And it looks fancy and it looks great, but it's, it was like seriously like the worst I'd ever used as far as liquid lipstick. And then this product here, there are so many good highlighters at the Dollar Tree from my Oni to LA Colors, all kinds, liquid, powders, you name it. And I love like this line of products but not this particular product. This is like the LA Colors Contour Stick, and I mean, the, the payoff it, the payoff just isn't really great. I mean, I got it to kind of swatch on my hand pretty good, but I think you're just gonna, you, you're gonna find better things that are in powder form. I just find that I do not really reach for this. I do love their contour sticks. Um, they always break apart on me, but it doesn't really matter. They just, I just put them back in there. The contour sticks are great, the light, medium, dark. Really, really great. Love them. But this, for me, is kind of a fail. Like I said, there's just better products out there, you know. And then this product here, too. 
Now I can get a decent result with this, but it's just not the best. Like if you could find the Be Pure foundation. So I've always liked the Sassy Chic foundation and the BB cream. Then it became new color. Um, and then recently it's Candy Moyo or Moyo. I don't know. And I've only ever, I've seen it in like three or four Dollar Trees and I've only seen dark. So I don't know if they are not making lighter colors. I don't know what the deal is. Um, I'm going to be a little upset if they don't sell it anymore like in light or medium and I haven't seen the foundation actually I've seen the foundation and the BB cream but both have been in dark so I don't know what's going on with their branding that's been a really good product as well this has always been my least favorite foundation from the Dollar Tree it's the LA Colors liquid makeup they have a few different shades this is like their lightest shade I think they have a tan I think they have something in between it's, I mean, it's like, it's okay, it's just not the best, it's not my favorite. So personally for me, and I usually do end up buying it because sometimes I just need a foundation from the Dollar Tree if I'm doing a, like a Dollar Tree makeup look. And sometimes I'm disappointed and sometimes I'm not. Like I think I used it recently and I was not all that disappointed. I guess it was just a good day, probably depends on my skin. But yeah, this is not my most recommended um, foundation from the Dollar Tree. Um, but. It might be what we're stuck with. If you can't find the Be Pure and Candy Moyo, Moyo does not get their act together. This might be all you can really find at the Dollar Tree except for the random brand name that comes rolling through in a random shade. <laughs> so yeah, this is probably my, has been my least recommended Dollar Tree foundation. Then we get two more products. One I have, one I don't. Um, I used to have it, but it's the LA Colors Shimmer Bronzer. And they recently come out with a matte version. If you've been with me, you, we've talked about this. Um, and they've recently repackaged their shimmer bronzer as like a highlighter. Again, it's gonna be it's gonna be for darker skin tones, you know, to, to highlight, which is great. But they for a long time they were marketing it as a bronzer, and it was so shimmery, you guys. Like it was just but yet I couldn't really even make it work as like an eyeshadow or anything like that. It just did not work. Thank goodness they came out with a matte version. And yeah, to market it as like a highlighter is a much better thing because it could work for someone that has darker skin. So yeah, the shimmer bronzer was something that I just could not get down with. <laughs> so the last product, and you'll see these a lot of times come through when um, LA Colors makes like a new spring collection or a new makeup collection, and I always pass them over because one year I bought like every shade, and they were kind of a disappointment. <laughs> so I can get down with the black um, auto liner from LA Colors. Like I said, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Like I can make it work. I've recently found out that I can make it work. But anytime, so they had these right here. These are the LA Colors Shimmer Auto Liners. I only have two shades left because I think I've got rid of them all. And um, they kind of swatch okay, but I just can't really, I would kind of have to use them in my waterline and that's where they don't really pay off. Like the green is, it, it's pretty like right there, but in the waterline, I can't seem to get it to really like pop, you know what I mean? And I was hoping like the brown one I could just use for my eyebrows, but I have so many eyebrow products that I haven't. So yeah, anytime LA Colors comes out with these colorful, I've seen purple and peach and pastels and stuff, they're just not as good as I want them to be. You'd probably be better off going with like an LA Girl or something else. So like, yeah, for me personally, I really just skip over these because I've just learned that they just don't seem to work for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, it is going to be ever changing. I could probably do one of these every year or, or so <clears throat> because, you know, products are always changing and I end up feeling differently about different things based on what else comes in the Dollar Tree or whatnot or if they've changed the formula, you know, formulas can always change. So, and that may have been what's happened with the foundation. I don't know. It just doesn't seem as bad as it used to seem. So, you know, like I said, this is ever changing. So I really do feel like I, I can do one of these, you know, at least once a year as, you know, things change and things come in and out and, you know, things do change, you know. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, show me you did by hitting the like button. And again, check out some of my other content that I mentioned down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.